Okay, second season you can expect. Um, I feel like it, we, uh, character dynamics get really deeper, the relation, a lot deeper, the relationships. Um, you go into who these people really are and where they come from, and then you know now you bring in the politics of government and how do you create a government that actually works for the people. You, you think, how do you distribute this cure around the world and are our families still alive? If they are, how do we find them? There's, there's a lot that goes on in this season that really hits home. And, you know, then you have these people that are immune and they want to basically maybe uh, use their powers for bad, you know, for, for power and for, for control. And how do you stop that? You know, so it's all, this season's all about, we have a power with this cure. How do we use it for good? And how do we restart uh, recreating our lives? You've got a lot. Um, our show is very intense, um, but we are we are dealing with this group of of immunes who feel that they are the inheritors of this new earth the, um, and this new world, and um, so that's kind of a scary cultish-like group of people to be um, at war with. Uh, they're also we just found out the, at the uh, end of this last episode that that they are on a sub, um, which is pretty much the scariest thing the Navy could run into. So, um, so that, that's what we're in store for, for you know, the entire cast. Um, in terms of Kara, she, you know, she's got this growing baby inside of her that is the symbol of hope uh, in a world that you know, has a lot of devastation. Um, I'm, she's very de determined and committed to the cause. But, um, but you know, you, you're, uh, I, think, I think her, a bit like her ability to, to stay true to the mission will ultimately help uh, the world in which her child will be you know, raised in. So, um, so mission comes first. Um, a lot more, um, I think, of our characters' responses to what's happening on land, because when we go back to the planet Earth, we realize that there is a lot of people, which is a little bit surprising, who don't want the human species to uh, be healed, necessarily. We have a conflict with our immunes, a group of people who don't get affected by the virus and so we have a conflict and Dr. Scott has to find a way to spread a cure in the most effective way possible so it's about distribution of the cure for her. New season is about coming home and what do they find when they get home and what they find is you know America in chaos and terrible enemies that want to destroy them and it's a question of how they're going to contend with that. This season of The Last Ship has been amazing. Uh, the difference between this season and last season. Last season, we were trying to figure out what this virus was. We were trying to come up with a cure and protect the doctor. Well, we're still protecting the doctor, but now it's about distributing that, that cure around the uh, country and then around the world. And also going back home to see what's left of our families, if anything at all. So this season becomes a little more personal. Our uh, enemies have changed. Now there's some people out there who are actually immune to the virus. So. It's in these particular people's best interest to make sure no one else gets that vaccine because they want to be the sole inheritors of the earth, which is a little scary. So it's been fun. Spain, I just want to say hello. My name is Travis. I'm on the last ship. Tune in, watch us, or I have a gun on the show. I'm going to have to find you and you get it. Oh, hola <laughs> to all the fans in Spain, España. I love movies. Hello, all my fans and all the Last Ship fans in Spain. I hope you enjoy the new season and then don't get too freaked out at the end. <laughs> I love movies. To all my fans in, in Spain, keep watching. Hola, me llamo Jaco. I play Lieutenant Burke in uh, The Last Ship. And I just want to say thank you so much, Spain, for your love and support. Mucho gusto.